Hi friends! Today we will learn about the simple microscope. So let's start. How were all the studies on cells made possible? It was all made possible due to the invention of magnification instruments like the simple microscope, compound microscope, electron microscope. But the first one to be invented was the simple microscope, and we will learn about it today. Simple microscope. This is an instrument that enables us to see things that cannot be seen with our naked eyes. It gives a magnified image of tiny objects, such as microscopic algae, bacteria, fungi, cells, or any biological specimen. It only has one lens for magnification. The simple microscope is obsolete now. The compound microscope and electron microscopes have taken its place. A simple microscope is called a magnifying glass. Now let's learn the working principle of the simple microscope. Microscope or simple microscope is just a convex lens of small focal length, and it is used to see magnified images of small things. When an object is placed within the focus of the convex lens, a virtual, erect, and magnified image of the object is formed, which is viewed from the other side of the lens. Now let's learn the parts of this microscope. A microscope has mechanical as well as optical parts, where mechanical parts provide support to optical parts so that their position can be adjusted to focus the object. Let's first learn the mechanical parts. Metal sand. It is the sand of the microscope which includes a heavy base and a vertical rod which provides firmness to the other parts of the microscope. Next is the stage. It is the rectangular plate attached to the vertical rod, and this stage has a hole in its center. The slide with the specimen is kept over this hole, and in this way the specimen gets light from below. Now let's learn the optical parts of the simple microscope. First one is the mirror. Plano convex mirror is attached with the vertical rod such that it focuses the surrounding light onto the hole in the stage which has the specimen placed on it. Second is the lens. A bioconvex lens is attached to the vertical rod with the help of a frame in such a way that it magnifies the size of the specimen on the tray and a virtual enlarged image of the specimen is seen if the eye is kept on the lens. The lens is required to be moved up and down using the frame for focusing the specimen. Now let's learn the uses of the simple microscope. It is used by watchmakers in order to see the small parts of the watch. It is also used by jewelry makers so as to make beautiful jewelry. It is also used to closely observe textures of fibers or threads of a cloth. It can also be used to study the texture and composition of different types of soil. It is also used by doctors for checking the skin for any kind of infection. It is also used to study ancient engravings and stones and fossils. It can also be used by detectives and police officers to study fingerprints. So these were some of the uses of the simple microscope. Now let's learn what is magnification of a simple microscope. Magnification is the measure of the ability of the convex lens to magnify an object. Or we can say that magnification is the value that tells us how much larger an image is when compared to the original object. The maximum magnifying power of a simple microscope is 10 which means that, at maximum, the image of the object can appear 10 times larger. The formula for finding the magnification of a simple microscope is m equals 1 plus d over f, where d is the least distance of distinct vision, and f is the focal length of the convex lens. And the meaning of the least distance of distinct vision means the closest someone with normal vision can comfortably look at something, which is about 25 centimeters in the case of the human eye. 
So now we know what is the formula for finding the magnification of a simple microscope. It is m equals 1 plus d by f, where d is the least distance of distinct vision and f is the focal length of the convex lens. So magnification depends upon the focal length. The lower the focal length, the greater will be the magnifying power of the simple microscope. Now we know what is a simple microscope. Let's learn about the types of other microscopes that exist. The compound light microscope. This type of microscope reflects light under the objects we want to magnify, and this light is then passed through two lenses, which makes their image larger. Other types of microscope is the electron microscope. An electron microscope uses electrons to observe the structure and morphology of smaller things. The main types of electron microscopes are scanning electron microscope, reflection electron microscope, transmission electron microscope, and the scanning transmission microscope. So these are all the types of electron microscopes. They are highly advanced microscopes. There is one more type of microscope that exists, the laser microscope. The laser microscope depends on the laser light passing through the object and the image being projected on a very large screen. And because of the image being projected on this large screen, the magnified image can be viewed without the help of any eyepiece. So these are all the advanced types of microscopes. Friends, today we learned about the simple microscope in detail. We also learned about the other types of microscopes, the advanced microscopes that exist now. We will learn more about these types of microscopes in our next section.